If you're one of the brightest and best, then we really, really want you to apply. Over the years, thousands and thousands of people from all kinds of backgrounds have applied successfully. Now it's your turn. There's no need to be nervous. OK, you can be a bit nervous, but be excited too. See it as an opportunity. Remember, on average, one in five applicants are offered a place. Why shouldn't it be you? So let's walk through each stage. One, you need to choose a course and college. But hold on a second, you've already done that, right? Next step, two. Like any application, there is some form filling. You do this online through UCAS and it's easier than you might think. The deadline is a bit earlier than for other universities, October the 15th. And for some international applicants, the deadline could be even earlier than this. Three, we look at your grades, module marks, your personal statement, and school reference. And if you're one of the 80% of applicants called for interview, you'll have a chance to show us more in December. So put a note in your diary to keep it free. Four, decision time. Following the interviews, we'll let you know the outcome as soon as we can. We might ask you to attend another interview in January at a different college. And five, it's now time to focus on your exams. If you get the grades you need, then we look forward to seeing you in Cambridge. Not too complicated, is it? Yes, we do ask for a little more information than other places, but that's to give you as many opportunities to shine as possible. We want to see whether you've got what it takes to succeed at Cambridge. When making your application, sit down, make a cup of tea. All right, don't make a cup of tea, but do make yourself comfortable and read the guidance on the UCAS website and on the university website carefully. Whether you're completing your application at school or at home, you'll need some information to hand. For example, do you know the codes of the courses you're applying for? Do you have the full details of all the examinations you've taken and are taking? Have you written your personal statement? Does it say how much you love your chosen subject? And have you shown it to teachers, friends and parents for their opinion? And this is really important. The first rule of an application is don't forget to check it for spelling and grammar. And the second rule of an application is don't forget to check it for spelling and grammar. And the third rule is, well, you get the idea. Your teachers and higher education advisors can help or ask the Cambridge College that you're applying to. And if you have any more questions, you'll find the answers online.